meme of the week. So let me go ahead and put that on you. Young lady in Boca Chico, Mississippi, very small town in Mississippi. She says, so my grandmother's funeral is on my wedding day. And I am 38 hot. <laughs> All right. Uh, unfortunately, the grandmother died. And they decided to have the funeral on the same day as her wedding. So really quick, does the bride have a right to be upset? And Bailey, I'll start with you. Man, let me tell you something, man. And I don't mean no harm to none of your viewers out there, anybody that's listening. But man, God forbid something ever happened to my beloved uh, Miss Joni. Man, fuck a wig. <laughs> hey, grandma, she tripping. Grandma come first, man. Nah. Yeah, she okay. tripping. She tripping. I don't care what nobody say. Hey, listen, Q, can you see me? I can Bruh. see. You. Grandma come first. Okay. That nigga gonna be here. Grandma come first. Breaking up on me. All right. Oh, All right. I see you. And Ray, what you got, man? What do you think? Does the bride have a right well, to be upset? Should... Of course. I mean, we all love our grandparents. I love both, all of my grandparents when they were living. But at the same time, this is what I say. And I put this solely on whoever making the plans. If this girl already got her wedding planned out, you can't move it a day after or a day before or something like that. To me, yes, if I was her, I would be upset because she already had her day already planned. Now you want to make her day have to either be canceled or be stuck with the memory of that's where they buried your gra where they, her grandmother. Whoever planned it on the same day should be shaming himself. All right. Man, your, your family should have to pick sides. Ain't nobody well, choosing I, your grandpa. I can say, I... I, I I totally agree with my cousin on that one because number one, the way it was already set and you can make arrangements for a funeral. I mean, like for somebody to sit up here and get invitations and all this stuff and then de basically deliberately say, okay, we're going to put the funeral drawn down. What what's the, what's, what was the situation? Was it one of them things like, was this an outside kid and, and she really didn't have a lot of say and people didn't really consider her thoughts or what? Or was this like, I mean, I ain't gonna say it made the feeling no different, but I'm saying I have like no idea. Cause this man, that's hard to imagine somebody gonna know a wedding and then because one thing about a funeral, you have an option. You always have an option. And this ain't like uh the eighteen hundreds where it's like, man, if you don't hear them get them in the ground, you're gonna have buzzers everywhere. I mean, it ain't like that. <laughs> so you know <laughs> so you definitely got a uh a, a, a you know uh option to pick, you know. So that's crazy, man. That's crazy.